devoted fans of that rising college sports power in Harrisonburg, Virginia, yeah. traveled all the way to the Florida Panhandle and back to watch JMU punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Now, our search for some of the biggest fans of the James Madison Dukes led us to the Sadatmond family from Richmond as they came back from the Sun Belt Tournament in Pensacola. That's where JMU defeated Arkansas State for the title and the chance for even bigger dreams. Father Barry and son Afton say there never was any doubt about traveling to see Barry's alma mater in action, especially since this is only the team's second trip to the NCAAs in 30 years. He said real fans show up. I mean, I'm just glad we did it. You know, I mean, I, I think a lot of people I know, you know were kicking themselves for not, not doing it and not pulling the trigger. Oh, the airfare is a little bit too much. Oh, Pensacola is so far out of the way. You know, oh, we're going to lose. <laughs> so I think we're really glad we just said, you know what, none of that matters. We'll go. I love it because when we're in the FCS, JMU wasn't like known. Most people were like, JMU, we don't know who that is, some small time school. But when we moved up, 11 and one football, 31 and three in basketball, now everyone knows about it. It's, it's awesome. And he knows those uh, numbers pretty well. As far as where the NCAA seedings might take JMU, Barry Sadatnan says if the Dukes play in Brooklyn or Charlotte, they'll definitely be there. He says only Spokane, Washington or Omaha, Nebraska might be just out of reach. And CBS 6 has a pretty sweet family tie to the JMU team. Sophomore guard Xavier Brown, who led the Dukes in the championship game with 21 points and 10 rebounds, is Shelby Brown's nephew. He's a graduate of Jamestown High School where he played basketball for his dad. That's Shelby's brother, Chris. Shelby, who ran track at JMU, by the way, says she's proud of how Xavier is carrying on a family tradition.